So we were driving back from church up at Mountain Meadows Christian Center, and as we were coming up to the bridge, we noticed a car parked in the middle of the bridge um, as we were heading towards Boise from Idaho City, and it was on the right, and so we were, as we were coming up to it, we thought, oh, the car, her car must have broke down, and so we decided to pass her because stopping on the bridge wasn't, wasn't a good idea with a baby in the car, and as we were pulling down to the end of the bridge, off to the left side, we noticed her car door opening, and, and I thought, oh, she's getting out to start pushing her car. Well, I looked in the rearview mirror, and she had gone over the side. And so we parked the car, and Talitha got out and started to try to look for her. And I said, I'll go run down to the car and look over the edge. So I ran down to her car, and her car was actually still running at that moment in time. And I looked over the edge, and I could see her in the water, kind of moaning and, and in clear pain. And I thought, I should jump. And then I thought better, and I thought, I should not jump. Because the last thing my wife had said to me as I was running down the bridge was, remember, you have a baby. And so I jumped into her car to drive it down to the end of the bridge, because that was the quickest way to get to the end of the bridge. So I just started making my way down the hill and as I got closer to the bottom I realized I had gone to where there was cliffs and I wasn't going to be able to get down so I had to go back and up over a kind of a steep spot and I had to hold on to a sagebrush and kind of shimmy my way across to, to where it was a little flatter and then I made my way down to the water and I took off my shoes, my shirt, got my cell phone out of my pockets and I stood in the water for a minute calling out to her to see if she would come closer or that if, or if she even knew somebody was yelling at her. There was no response out of her and she was starting to kind of bob in and out of the water. I was mostly worried because I knew how cold that water was and you know it's all that water or snow is running off the mountains right now so I'm like that water's so cold and so I was like God please just keep him safe help him to get out there. And then all of a sudden I heard a presence say Josh your feet have gone numb you're gonna go numb go get the girl. Uh, and then right then she called out for help. She's kind of, help! And I dove in and just started swimming out there. Did a little bit of a freestyle stroke at first and then went into a uh, breaststroke as I got closer trying to make small chat. Just, hey, I'm here to take you to the edge. You don't mind if I grab a hold of you, do you? And there was no response, but I just wanted to see if she was going to try to latch on to me. And so I got, got a hold of her shirt under her and just started swimming back. And then the other guys pulled up and they said, do you guys have a blanket? And I said, I don't. And they said, we have a blanket. We'll head down. I said, can you check on my husband? Because I can't see him. And they said, he's fine. He had just gotten to the girl when we left. And so we started making our way to the, to the edge. And as we got to the edge, there was a rock and she grabbed a hold of the rock. And some of the guys that had been watching this from across the canyon, they were up on top of the canyon watching. Two of them came over with blankets and jackets and had made their way down the hill by the time I got to the, to the edge and I sat in the water with her for a little while just reminding her to keep breathing until we heard the sirens and then once I heard the sirens one of the guys went down there and I think he had a blanket that he threw over her. I'm not sure but the older guy, he hung out with her, he started hanging out with her and then the other guy was trying to get me to put on a coat, but I just wanted to get up the hill. I was just really relieved. As he came up the hill, I was like, oh good, he's okay. <laughs> and then he was you know, still in a little bit of shock and really, really cold. They were so impressed with Josh and they were really good at making sure we were all okay. Cause it's, it's a traumatic thing to see somebody in that situation. And so we were really thankful for them. It was kind of different. Everybody kept coming up, shaking my hand and saying that I had saved her and I hadn't quite processed it all yet and so I'm thinking I didn't save her, you know, it's teamwork and you know, the Lord put me there. I was just doing what I was supposed to do.